In this video, I will guide you on implementing an app purchase for your iOS app using Apilex. Let's first navigate to the Integration Modules page and enable the In-App Purchase module. Now, let's navigate to the In-App Purchase page. I will explain these steps later. But first, let's create the In-App Purchase products in App Store Connect. On your apps page, go to the In-App Purchases menu and create your first product. Choose the type consumable means your user can purchase this product as much as they want and non-consumable means your user can purchase this product once in a lifetime. Next, enter the name of your product, which will only be displayed to you. Lastly, for the product ID, it's better to use a specific format where the first part will be your bundle ID and the last part will be the product slug. Next, choose the countries where the product can be purchased and select the price of the product. The localization is what the user will see about your product while purchasing from your app. Another required item is the screenshot of the product. I am just uploading a dummy screenshot here. You can also add some notes here, which will help the Apple reviewer team review the product. Let's now save this product. Now, navigate again to your app version page. Here, you will have to choose the created product so that it can be purchased using your app. Now, visit your App Store Connect homepage and click the business menu. Here, make sure that the status of your paid apps agreement is active. If not, accept this agreement. Also, check if at least one bank account information is added here. If not, you can add your bank account information in this section. Other things to check are the tax forms and compliance. Please note that if you are just completing adding information on this page, you may have to wait 24 hours to make the in-app purchase work in the app. Now let's understand the process of in-app purchase in Apilix. Apilix provides you with a JavaScript function that you will use on your website to start purchasing the in-app purchase. The first argument will be the product ID, which you can get from your App Store Connect. The second argument is the product type, which can be consumable or non-consumable. The last argument is the redirect URL, where the app will redirect the user after the purchase is completed. Here comes the security code, as the app will pass this code via URL on the redirect URL so that you can verify it later. Let's now check my website. On my website, when a user clicks the purchase button, the purchase occurs via the built-in payment gateway. But in the app, this needs to be done via in-app purchase. I know it may seem a bit complex now, but for better understanding, I will show you my website's code. Here is my purchase button code. First, I check the user agent. If the user agent contains the word Apilix, then it confirms that the user is coming from the app. This is because in my app's custom user agent, I have added the word Apilix. So then I call the given JavaScript function on the purchase button click. I have added the product ID, product type, and the redirect URL. Otherwise, the normal behavior will work in the browser. Now that's my redirect URL pages code, where the app redirects the user after the purchase is completed. Here, I first check the security code by matching it with the given one in my settings. Next, here I will do other things like activating the plan on the user's account and so on. 
as this is just a redirect, your logged in user's cookie or session will work here. Finally, let's build the app with the higher version code. As you will test the app via test purchase, we will have to create a sandbox account in App Store Connect. Navigate to Users and Access. Then open the Sandbox tab. I have already created a sandbox account. In your case, if you don't have one already, create a sandbox account. As my app is already built, I am going to install the latest build on my iPhone using TestFlight. Also, as we will have to make a test purchase, we need to sign into the App Store app using the Sandbox account. Now, let's open the app and make a test purchase. Here, you can see that the purchase is happening via Apple's in-app purchase system. Perfect! The purchase is completed, and the app redirected me to the redirect URL. So, this was the tutorial where we just learned the steps to enable an app purchase using Apilix in your iOS app.